Ariane's AS2 supersonic business jet program received a major boost recently when Airbus signed up for a partnership through which it will help to complete the design of the aircraft and prepare it for certification and manufacturing. According to Ariane, the collaboration will support the Mach 1.6 100-plus million dollar 12-passenger AS2 at least through the service entry, with final arrangements for series production still to be confirmed. I've always had the confidence that this would make it into service. It's a question of when, not if. But clearly, the technological partnership with Airbus is a great step forward and will lead to the commercialization of Arion. Well, Airbus is very pleased to be part of this collaboration with, uh, with Arion. Uh, it's a technology exchange, a knowledge exchange. We're very interested in their sonic laminar flow modeling that they've done uh, and designed. We think we could contribute to uh, manufacturing certification uh, quality techniques. So it, it's a total collaboration effort to take this to not only just the business plan, but on through uh, to penetrating the market. The Arian AS2 Trijet is a revised design from the earlier twin engine design and promises to deliver longer range and a larger cabin. The cabin is now comparable to a Gulfstream G550 in height at 6 feet 2 inches and in width at 7 feet 3 inches. The cabin length is expected to be 30 feet long. This new aircraft configuration is really driven by the market. We did an extensive market refresh and we found that width was something that people had a great deal of value in, much more so than length. And so, you know, that led to the new configuration. Also, the JT-8D, although is a wonderful engine, it is old, heavy, and noisy, and we clearly need a new core, so we're going back to the engine manufacturers to find the best core that will meet our service requirements. Ariane sees an opening in the market for the supersonic business jet, even if the jet may not always be used to its full performance potential. The jet will cruise at Mach 0.99 in areas where supersonic speeds are prohibited, such as the United States. Over water, the jet will travel at speeds of Mach 1.4 and 1.6, and can cruise at speeds of up to Mach 1.2 over populated areas without a sonic boom reaching the ground. I think that the ability to have speed, but still the ability to land at normal business airports gives great flexibility. And certainly one of the areas that we have found that there has been phenomenal reception is in the Far East, where the distances are so vast that it takes forever to get from one place to another, and being able to get there in half the time is a great boon.